Welcome to World. Hi, I'm Ben. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel, click the like button below. Let's dive in. The first fort we're going to have a look at today is called Mammusium Fort, which is, I think, how it's pronounced. Mammusium Fort was established in either 78 AD or 79 AD. There's conflicting sources on its actual date of establishment. It overlooked the River Irwell and Medlock. It initially started life as a timber fort with earth ramparts. It could house an auxiliary cohort which was around 500 men. Surprisingly a lot of the parts of the fort were actually left undisturbed right up until the late 18th century. At that point Manchester boomed and it became part of the Industrial Revolution. Most of the fort was actually destroyed to make way for new developments such as the Rochdale Canal and the Great Northern Railway. The site we visited is in Castlefield which is in the city centre of Manchester. I'm here at Manchester or Mancunian Fort as the Romans called it. It was initially built out of timber and earthworks in 79 AD. In 200 AD when Emperor Severus visited Britain to crush a revolt, it was rebuilt out of stone to make it more impenetrable. It housed around 500 auxiliaries and soldiers. The restoration team have done an amazing job. Me and a friend when we were at Hadrian's Wall were saying that we'd absolutely love to have a piece of Hadrian's Wall restored so we could actually see as it was. So it's absolutely fantastic that the Manchester fort has been restored and that you can actually go onto the walls and see what the Romans would have seen and have a look at the other side and have a look at what the barbarians would have seen. It's really interesting, it's really cool. So if you get a chance, visit the Manchester fort in Castlefield. I'm here in Glossop, which is northwest England. I'm at the rum marching camp, Melandrum. Melandrum started life in 70 AD as a wooden palisade fort. You can see the earth embankment. That's all that's left today. In 108 AD, Emperor Trajan replaced the fort with stone and he replaced the previous wooden palisades. The fort isn't a fantastic position it's it you can see all the hills surrounding the area any any attacking enemies any raiding parties would be coming straight over them hills and considering the walls would be 10 15 feet high you'd have a fantastic vantage point to see anyone from any of the surrounding area the name melandra that we've currently got for the fort and the majority of people use is not actually what the Romans used. The Romans called it Ardatalia, which meant the place of high dark hill. It was initially established to guard the road from Brough, which comes over the Snake Pass, which then goes into Glossop and continues on towards Manchester. When the Romans rebuilt the walls out of stone in 108 AD, they were around 12 feet high and 4 feet thick. They were on top of earth ramparts which were 16 feet wide and over 3 feet high. This made the walls around 15 feet high which appeared to be quite common for a lot of the walls within Britain at the time. There were steep drops on one of the sides of the fort which would mean that that side of the fort was absolutely impregnable and there was absolutely no way you could siege it. When the Romans called it the place of high dark hill, that's what it certainly is. It's certainly on the top of a high dark hill. You can see absolutely for miles and miles all around. It's an absolutely fantastic location that they picked. I'm stood here at Castleshaw. It's a Roman camp. It was initially constructed in 79 AD which it was a larger camp at that point. It was downsized in about 105 AD 
to the remains of what you can see today. It housed about 60 men. It had a, an, an administrative centre. It had a granary as well. Um, it's very, very small as you can see. It's not large at all. It was important for watching the roads that went towards York and went towards Manchester as well. It stops bandits attacking any parties or any traders heading along them roads. In 125 AD, when Emperor Hadrian was constructing Hadrian's Wall, this fort was disbanded and the troops were sent up north. Castle Shaw was a fantastic strategic location for a fortlet. It allowed the fort to oversee all the distance. It really is quite bleak up there and you can imagine it being quite cold. We went on quite a warm day, but it was still very, very windy. Now, for Romans to be stationed there in the winter, I can't imagine how cold it would be. But it's when the Romans started adopting things like pants or trousers to combat this sort of weather. But faultless like the Castle Shore one will have been vital for watching the roads that head over the hills. And it will have been vital to keep Roman Britain safe and in check. Auxiliaries were used like the one in the picture but they were never used within their home town or their home province. They were shipped out and used as extra manpower on things like the Germania front or the Syrian front and men from Syria would serve in Britannia, men from Britannia would serve in Germania and so on. They did this so that the Romans wouldn't have uprisings or that's what they were trying to prevent. Thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope you did enjoy. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. If you have any other suggestions for any other places within Rome and Britain, please let me know. Thanks very much.